They're not really robots. They're software platforms that manage your investments powered by algorithms, but made by humans, really smart humans. Accounts managed by robo-advisors require less money to start and offer lower cost investment products. They customize your portfolios by examining your personal data and your investment goals. Online investment advice was born in the late 1990s, but robo-advisors really sprung on the scene in 2010, a couple of years after the 2008 recession. There are now more than 200 of them, managing over $70 billion. That may sound impressive, but it's not a lot considering the $32 trillion of investable assets currently in the United States. But time is on robo-advisor's side, and it's all thanks to demographics. Baby boomers and their parents, the silent generation, currently make up about one-third of the U.S. population. However, they control about 83% of U.S. net wealth. These generations have mostly relied on human investing professionals and financial advisors to help them decide what to do with all that money. But the financial advisory business is facing a transformational change. You see, those 83 million boomers and older folks who control so much wealth, they'll peak as the wealthiest demographic in the next 15 years. Generation X will become the wealthiest demographic, amassing $37 trillion by 2030. Millennials will have about $20 trillion by then. But these younger generations may be less likely to use financial advisors and invest like their parents and grandparents. A lot of them lost trust in the financial system after the 2008 recession, and many don't see why they should pay another person to manage their money when technology can do it cheaper and with more accuracy. That's a real threat to human financial advisors who are already facing their clients getting older with younger generations less inclined to hire them. In fact, 66% of children fire their parents' financial advisor after they receive an inheritance. Now, big investing firms have seen this coming, so they've been busy building or buying their own robo-advisor platforms, trying to catch this growing wave of younger digital investors. Studies say the robo-advisor, or the digital advice market as they call it, will swell to $500 billion by 2020. And traditional investing firms like Fidelity, Schwab, and Vanguard, they'll control two-thirds of all assets in that market a huge chunk. Currently, the typical customer is between 35 and 45 years old and has an average account balance between $20,000 and $100,000. That's a lot less money than financial advisors are used to managing. So is there still a place for people in a digital advisor world?